So I got to thinking, what might correspond, what, what might correlate to UFO sightings? What data might, uh, might there be out there that could explain what we're seeing? And I thought maybe drug use statistics, maybe people who use drugs uh, see more UFOs. So I wanted to, to test this, and I think that there's a very important lesson in, in what you're about to see. So I went out to the um, National Drug Abuse uh, website and I found a table of drug use statistics and this is drug use among high school aged kids which is just the data that that I was able to find um, for each of the age groups in high school from 1991 to 2014 across different um, categories of, of drugs and so um, this actually fit quite nicely into an Excel spreadsheet. It required very little uh, manipulation at all. So I was just able to essentially paste it all into a spreadsheet. As you hear, see here, we have a column for the drug category. Uh, we have the grade level and then a column for each of the years. And this is the percentage of kids in that in that grade level who had used a, a particular type of drug from 1991 to 2014. So if I click on um, from table, this creates a Power Query query uh, that I'll rename to drug use. Now, we have a, a data conformance issue here, and that is that um, our values for each year appear in columns. The data is essentially pivoted into a pivot table and that's that's great to to look at and consume that read that data but it actually isn't the way that that we want to consume it or, or use it so I'm going to, to choose 1991 and then hold down shift choose 2014 and then I'll go to the transform tab here in the power query editor and I'm going to unpivot the selected columns and that's simply going to take those values rotate them down onto rows and now I have one row per each unique combination of drug category grade and year with the percent of use in the value column so I rename the year call it year and we'll uh, go ahead and close and uh, load this data. I do want to point out that the drug categories are non-exclusive, which means that some contain others, so we can't necessarily compare them all side by side, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in the report, though it, it might make sense to, to uh, deal with it uh, at the source as a data quality issue. So we'll go ahead and open up the Power Pivot model, and here you see the, the drug use table, standalone table, my objective is to join the year to my report date table on the year column. And um, so I'll go ahead and, and, and convert that year to uh, a whole integer value and, and flag it as not summable. But watch what happens when I create a relationship from the year to the year column in my report date table. We're going to get an error because um, the rule is that we can only join on the most granular level. So we, we have a data conformity problem. So what I need in my drug use table is a column with a date value in it so I can join it to the date column. To do that I'm going to transform this data by creating a date column. So we'll go to the table view or the grid view. I'm going to create a new calculated column which I'll call uh, first date of year. Now remember that the lowest level of grain in this table is the year, and so the, the date just needs to be a date in that year. Um, but it uh, probably makes more most sense to um, use the date function here to transform that into January 1st of a year and then I'm not going to drill down any lower than the year anyway, so the, the date actually doesn't matter. Again, a date type column contains both date and time. It, it defaults to midnight on that date, so we'll go ahead and format that as a date. I would probably hide this column anyway, so the format's not real critical. But there we have that column. So now if I join my first date of year 
to the date column in the report date, that relationship is valid. So now I have the report date in common between both sightings and drug use so that I can compare values side by side. So let's insert a power view sheet and we're going to create a new dashboard so that we can test our hypothesis that UFO sightings correspond to drug use. Now, I, I can create one visual that has um, uh, years on axes and then the UFO sightings and the drug use, but keep in mind that, that UFO sightings is a count, so that's always going to be a large whole number value, and the, um, the, the drug use value is actually a percentage, and so um, it may not make sense to compare an integer value to a percentage value within the same chart, unless we were to use a combination chart of some kind, which we don't, don't actually have in this version of Power View in Excel today. Uh, we do in Power BI Designer, which we'll probably eventually see in Excel, but we don't have this today. So there, I, I have uh, 1970 through 2015. I only have the drug use data for 1991 through 2014, so we'll we'll need to filter that a little bit more. But I'm going to drag my shape category onto this chart so that we can see how the categories uh, compare to the the whole. We'll move the legend down. Uh, let's let's put it uh, on top just so it's not using up space on the right side of the chart. I can get a little more get a little more use out of my horizontal space. Put that on the top, whoop, the top, not the left. All right, good enough. Now I'll go ahead and add another visual. So to do this, um, let's uh, well, we'll add a filter for the category just so we can be selective. So I'm adding the year and then I'm adding the percentage value, changing that to a line chart. For continuous values like this, uh, both lines and column charts uh, are acceptable. Um, we'll start with a line chart and uh, see if that works. I, I, I may actually want to change that to a column chart to see how that works visually. And I know that since my, my drug use categories um, are not exclusive, um, I'm going to need to filter that as well. So let's, yeah, I'll we'll just switch both of those to a column chart. And uh, I'll create a filter on the drug use category. Put drug category down into the filter area. Let's just start by looking at LSD. So this is our first correlation or attempt to correlate uh, drug use data with UFO data. And as you can see, if, if there is any correlation, if there is, um, it, it would be it would be the inverse, which should suggest that 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 uh, people who use drugs less frequently or don't use drugs tend to to report uh, UFOs. We'll dress up the dashboard, call it drug use and UFO sightings. Let's look at a different drug. So we'll look at marijuana use. Uh, and there you can see that marijuana use peaked in 1997 among high school students. Um, it dropped off a little bit, then it jumped up a little bit. Not, not surprising. It's a more commonly used substance. But again, no correlation whatsoever between this drug use and UFO sightings. So the important lesson here is that just because we have data and we're looking for something doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to find it. And even if there happened to be a correlation, correlation doesn't equal cause, and it, it doesn't necessarily prove that, that one is related to the other.